welcome to a Powell World video and yes you can see in the background there is the awesome looking tree I've actually never seen it in the dark and it actually is pretty damn cool I like the little lights that it's got on it anyway I'm going to be showing you today some really really cool base locations so this is going to involve things like glitching locations just very very cool base locations in general ones for mining farms this has got them all this has got all the perfect base locations if there's any ones that you think I've missed let me down in the comments and I might make a part two of this if you could like and subscribe to the channel that'd be much appreciated and anyway let's carry on with today's video so first of all I will be showing you a base that is unraidable and it's not a glitch it is this base, my home base right here. So if I look on the map, I am right in this location. So 12 and minus 83. This place is completely unraidable. As you can see from the clip on screen, once you get raids towards you, they all pile up towards the bottom of the cliff for some reason. I have no idea why, but it seems to come from the same direction every single time. I've had tens of raids, maybe 30, 40 raids or something like that, and every single one has come from that direction. I have never had a raid that's actually invaded the base. My pals don't even aggro on them, so you can easily go down and just kill them all and take the loot. It is very, very, very cool. I would definitely recommend going here, and as well, you have a big open space like this to put everything in. I don't have one of these crazy towers, it is just an efficient base with cool looking stuff in it. So if I go to the back side of the base right here, just behind it, uh, this cannot be done by pals because it's outside of the blue circle of the base. But look down here. Look at all this ore. If I need some ore very quickly and I can just quickly mine it, I can just jump down here, grab some ore if I want to. It is such a useful little thing and it's so handy as well. I never thought it would be this handy. So moving into travel, it is just this one on the right hand side. So it is 185 and minus 41. If I transfer to here, looking at this, I've built some very, very strange looking house right there with all of the pal beds on. You've got coal veins right here. I've got the little jacuzzi set up over there with their feed box. We also have some farming tools over here. For some reason, they've been a bit slack and they're not picking this stuff up, but I'll go through that in a minute. And on the other side, we have loads of ore veins. And as you can see, I have Anubis after Anubis just mining everything. I have so many here. Look at look at all of them. They're all just doing the work. And then I can just go through, pick them all up if I want to, or I could just wait here and let them do it themselves. So I've just picked up from running around all of here, I've picked up 218 ore and 201 coal. How crazy is that? And that's not to mention everything that they do in the background. Look at the numbers that I have here. And now I'm moving on to the next base, which not many people know about. I was recently introduced to this. As you can see, it's got the little mining area. You go to the base travel right here. And once again, I have about 50 billion of the <laughs> Anubises on here. So I've got all of these mining away. We have a pure quartz farm. Just look how cool this is. There's so much. There's so many veins and they're all working on them. And it doesn't weigh that much, so I can just run around, gather them all up. And if you wanted to know, the location of it is minus 207 and 252. 817 pure quartz. How sick is that? They also have the other odd bits and bobs, which you can just pick up. But it's just so good. I really, really like this area. And it's quite underrated as well, because pure quartz can become very useful towards the later game. So now we are back at our base, you can see in the background the big old tree itself. I don't really know why they've put that in, I think it must just be for the background because you can't get there and it's really strange, unless they do when the game fully releases. But I think this is a really cool glitch, there are two more base locations I'm going to show you, including the big old tree itself. So I'm going to go to the tree right now and show that one first. So just as a pre-warning for this, you will need the Suzaku. You need this guy because he is the best stamina in the entire game for a flying mount, I think. I might be wrong, but let me know if I am wrong. But as far as I'm aware, he has the best stamina for a flying mount. So what we need to do now is travel to the nearest location to it. So it's around here. So I'll go to the pristine snowfield. Right, so once I'm here, I need to get my jet dragon out. So it doesn't really matter what you use. I just use him because he's so quick. So we need to just fly all the way over to here. And it might take a bit, but if you have a speedy mount like I have right here, 
you'll be there in no time. It's absolutely fine. Okay, now we are here. As you can see, if I look to the right, there is a big old red wall here that I cannot pass through. But the reason why we have this Suzaku is because, for some reason, there is actually a cap at the top which you can get over. So, I'm just going to get on him now. And all you need to do is just make sure you can still see the red wall and just hold space or A if you're on Xbox and just wait. So we should be getting towards that now because he is now about to run out. There you go. You can see there's a cap. So if I just carry on flying forwards, I can now fly towards the tree. And he's run out of stamina. He just about has enough. But the quicker way to get down is just get off him and just fall down. Like so. Easy as. So I'll get back on my Jetragon because he's quicker and now we can go on to land and as you can see look I'm just going away towards the tree but unfortunately if I get close enough there is an invisible wall that you cannot get over like here so you can get up to this part right here right next to the tree pretty much under it as well and there's a big old open space. I think this is very cool and you can build a PAL box if you can and I think yes I have oh my god. I've forgotten, to <laughs> I've forgotten to take the resources. That is really annoying. Okay, we are finally back. I uh, took way longer than I should have done. So we are now back so I can build the PAL box right here. So I can just build it. I'll build it further away from the, the invisible wall because there's no point in wasting the space. So I'll build it right there. So if I can just build this up. And now I have a teleport point so I can get backwards and forwards between this area and home. And I think this is such a cool method. You can build anything you want. I haven't got enough resources for anything, but I mean, you can build literally anything you like. Make a base here, make a massive castle, doesn't matter. It is unraidable and it is a really cool glitch in my opinion. So last but very much not least, we have a very cool glitch here. It is a glitch where you can get inside this mountain right here and build a base of course. It is an unraidable base because they literally cannot get there because it's behind a brick wall. So it's a very very cool thing to have. So what we need to do is we need to be able to climb about sort of halfway up the mountain. This mountain I've used is not the only one you can use in the game but for reference it is this one right here and right in the center of the map. You can use any of the entire game, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is just have your flying mount out like this, dismount from it and climb up the wall. And now you need to just sit here and pet your mount so he goes inside the wall like this and while you're petting him, ride him like that. So as you can see, we are now inside here and for some reason there's another wall but you can just repeat this process again just to get inside it. There we go, that worked. So actually you don't need to be up the wall at all, you can just do it on from the floor. Oh, I've actually gone out, that's annoying. There we go, so that worked straight away. So what we can do now is just dismount from him and build our PAL box. And of course, I don't have wood. This is a very cool base location. It's a little bit of a bad example because it's on a hill and for some reason I am now lagging like crazy. But there will be other locations where it's more flat and you can have an unraidable base. So I feel like this is a very cool thing and I would recommend it if you'd like to try it yourself. So now we are out. If you did enjoy the video and would like to see more of content like this in the future, if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much and goodbye.